good day and welcome to today's construction class my name is Olua Tumbi Blessing or Lalekon, the founder of Michael Tech. All right, today we'll be considering the problem as displayed on the screen. A hyperbola has its vertex 12 mm from the directories and its focus 20 mm from the vertex. Draw the curve using the locus method. The locus method, all right. So, the very first thing we're actually going to do right here, I'm going to do right here is to uh, produce a uh, thin horizontal line in this order like this okay yeah, i think that is somehow too close to the top let me bring this downwards a little okay i'm going to produce a vertical line to my horizontal line which is this like this okay so this vertical line is my what is my directories d d okay i'm going to denote the junction where they meet as point m as point m all right so now we were told that the distance from uh m to uh from the directories okay to the vertex from the directories to the vertex we are told that that distance is 12 millimeters 12 millimeters so i'm going to pick my ruler and measure the mark of 12 mm from my directories to my vertex okay so this is my mark what my mark v that's my what that's my vertex and we were told that the distance from uh the vertex to the focus is 20. so picking my ruler i measure 20 from the vertex okay down here and that is what mark what mark f which is my what my focus all right so i'm going to just produce a pen line on both like this and this now the next thing is this before we can actually make use of the locus method we need to actually figure out the eccentricity of our hyperbola to figure out the eccentricity of our hyperbola and uh the mathematical expression states that the uh vf vf vertex to focus i'm going to write that okay let me jot down somewhere here okay so it states that uh vf equals to uh m v times e okay and as it is in the problem our vf is what our v to f is what uh equals to 12 mm okay then our uh mv okay m sorry our vf is 20 mm not strength 20 yeah v to f year to year is what is 20 is 20 mm and our mv year to year is what is 12 mm so our e is what is unknown so uh we are making e the subject of formula e will be equals to what v f over mv okay if that is the case our v f is what v f is 20 over what over 12 okay over 12 so 4 in 20 is what 5 4 in 12 is what is 3 therefore our eccentricity for this hyperbola is what is 5 over 3 is 5 over 3 always remember that the eccentricity of a hyperbola is usually greater than 1 and 5 over 3 is definitely what greater than 1 all right so since we have our eccentricity as 5 over 3 then we can now proceed we can now proceed okay we can now proceed so this is what i'm going to do to get my mark one now to get our mark one where the point of the hyperbola is going to actually pass through so from v to f i will divide v to f into two equal halves which is what mark of what mark of 10 okay so then from mark f down here i'll be picking the mark of what 10 10 10 so i'm going to extend it so from mark f i pick 10 i pick 20 i pick 30 i pick what 40 so so one two three four five i won't go more than five but you can go to as many uh uh length as you actually want but i'm going to actually end it right there so on each of these points right now i'm going to provide a what a vertical line so faintly on each of those points okay so right here a faint vertical line okay right here a faint vertical line also okay 
right here a faint vertical line right here a faint vertical line right here a faint vertical line also okay right here a faint vertical line also so after doing that the next thing is this is going to be my what my mark one this is my what two three four and what and five okay so uh following the formula that says uh vf equals to mv times times e okay and uh to actually get the points where the curve is actually going to pass through we are going to actually uh make use of uh this expression mv times e that's our expression mv times e okay let me put this here so mv times e so my m to the first mark here to mark one remember this now between m to v is what is 20 and sorry is 12 and v to mark one here is what is 10 so m one times e we equals what we equals to uh 10 plus 12 that's 22 times 5 over 3 so on our mark one this answer is going to be the answer uh, is 36.6666 but i'm going to approximate it to what 37 so on our m1 it is what it is 37 okay so on our m to 2 so the distance between 1 to this is what is 10 so m to f is what is 32 so m to 2 will be what will be 42 so my that would be m2 times e which will be equal to what 42 times 5 over 3 so for my m2 the outcome is going to be what is going to be 70 okay so for m3 times e my m3 distance from m to mark 3 here um that's going to be what because i pick the mark of 10 10 10 so that's going to be what 52 times 5 over 3 so my m3 is going to be 87 approximately okay so my m4 is going to be what m4 times e which is going to be uh 62 times 5 over 3 and that is going to be uh 103 approximately so my m5 times e this m to 5 times e equals to 72 times 5 over 3 and that is going to give me mark of 120 approximately approximately okay so each of these points i'm going to was transfer them to their marks right here so on mark one on mark one my m1 is what is 37 with my compass i pick the mark of 37 which is this then i stand on what on my focal points on f so then i what i pick so those are the points for my one okay so on mark two m2 it is what 70 so i pick mark of what 70 i stand on what f so i mark it out on mark two right here and what and right here so these are the points on mark two okay so on mark three the length there is what 87 87 which is this so with my on my f on mark three i have right there and what and right there for my what for my m3 okay my m4 that's what 103 103 so i'm going to mark that also 103 standing on f so on four and what and four right here as you can see okay so for mark five that is distance of what 120 or mark five 120 so i'm going to pick my compass so with my compass i pick the mark of 120 mm which is this with mark 120 standing on f i have my what mark five and what and mark five right there so the next thing is what i'm going to pick my french curve and join each of those points with mark v the vertex as my what as my highest point all right okay i've actually joined this all right okay i've joined it to the mark five which means this other part right here okay okay so that is mark five okay so this is how to actually get uh, a par a hyperbola when given the directives and the focus and we don't have the eccentricity all right so that is the solution to the problem on the screen right there my name remains Uluwa Tumbi Blessing or Lalekon the founder of Michael Tech
kindly ensure you subscribe to this youtube channel and also refer it to your friends who might be in need of it thank you